I wasn't always a cheesy hitman. In fact, there was a time when the thought of dairy brought utter bliss to my soul. But then it declared war, a war of digestive intolerance. There's only one way to stop it. I must become a monster. There's some to be said about fine looking sliced cheese, but not everyone has an expensive cheese slicer. Just grab dental floss and carefully pull it tightly through the corner of your cheese. Loosely measure the string around to the other side, and with a quick pull, slice right through for an effective and beautiful looking cut. Experiencing some midday munchies or late night cravings, but you can't seem to find a quick and easy solution? Try instant mac and cheese in a coffee mug. Here, write this down. You need half a cup of water, half a cup of shredded cheese, a third a cup of small noodles, and a fourth a cup of milk. Just add the noodles and water to your mug. Now microwave that sucker on high for two minutes. Once that's done, stir it up like crazy and put it back in for two more minutes. When you get that final beep, just add a quarter cup of that milk and half a cup of that cheese. Stir it in until it's nice and creamy and boom, your delicious treat is ready to eat. Grating cheese can be a serious pain in the wrists, not to mention that the cheese can jam up, making a simple task a nightmare. Next time, try using just a bit of cooking spray directly on the grater itself. Just apply a simple coat and grate faster and more effectively than ever. Shredding your time in half, your wrists will thank you later. Come here, Bessie. Got a craving for a gourmet omelet, but you can't ever seem to get them right? Well, you're not alone. Just fill a large pot with some water and set it to boil. Now crack two eggs into a resealable freezer bag like this. Toss in some seasoning, and now put your favorite ingredients in like mushrooms, tomatoes, and of course, cheese. Press the air outside of the bag and seal it up. Mix up all of your ingredients right in the bag, and then fold it into the shape that you want it to end up. Take your bag of ingredients and drop it right into the boiling water for a solid 10 minutes. It's not a bad idea to keep an eye on it as you go. You can cook up to eight bags in a standard size pot, which is really convenient for a family breakfast. Just grab the bag from water and carefully let the omelet roll out onto a plate. Garnish it up as you please, and in less than 20 minutes, you'll have an impressive omelet that'll make the best chef's jealous. There's a million different ways to make a candle, but here's a fun project for the kids, or just bored 20-somethings. Once your cheese is removed from its packaging, there's really no reason to keep that wax coating around. So try carefully removing it from your dairy block. Just wrap your cheese back up in wax paper or Ziploc bag. Take the removed wax and fold the bottom over itself just a couple times to form a base. Now with the lengthier end, place some rolled up paper towel in the center and fold it over. Now continue folding, rolling, and molding until you have your desired length. Just place down the candle and fire it up. It's not gonna last long, but it works great with cheesecake. Do you have some leftover mac and cheese from lunch? Awesome. Stick it in the fridge because when you get hungry later, you're in for a delicious snack. Plop your leftovers right onto a plate and then dip them in flour, a beaten egg, and finally, a coat of breadcrumbs. Heat up just a bit of cooking oil until it's sizzling. Now toss your battered monstrosity right in the pan. You'll wanna heat it for about one minute on each side and then remove your crispy morsel from the pan. Slice it open to reveal deep fried mac and cheese bliss. Serve it at a party or just to yourself. Mm -mm -mm. How about keeping your cheese fresh for longer? If you want yours to last and retain its delicious flavor, then simply grab yourself some wax paper. It's gonna help recreate that waxy mold reducing layer the cheese originally came from. Just wrap up the leftover bulk like you would a small gift, loosely folding it over itself and sealing the bottom with a piece of tape. We highly recommend labeling it with a date so at a quick glance you'll know if it's still edible. Finally, stick it in a Ziploc bag and place it back in your fridge for safekeeping. This will keep most cheeses fresh longer and retain their original texture. But what about moist cheeses like ricotta or cottage cheese? Surprisingly, with just a simple flip of the closed packaging, you'll create a secondary seal in the container, which can nearly double the amount of time you can store it safely in the fridge. That's money. All right, you wanna make a fancy meal for your guests, but you're short on time and patience. How about an Italian grilled cheese sandwich? Butter up the outside of some bread like you normally would. Spread a little bit of pesto on one slice of the bread. This is key. Now grab some sliced tomatoes and mozzarella. Grease up a pan and stack it with the bread, cheese, and tomato. Finally, put on the pesto slice. Fry up each side for one minute while keeping an eye on it. Now slide it from the pan and you've got yourself an artisan grilled cheese sandwich that'll put all others to shame. Complement it with some tomato soup. 
and you'll have an awesome snack for your hungry guests. With the help of our amazing sponsors, we're able to keep this whole show on the road. Audible.com has supported Household Hacker for years now and is the leading provider of audiobooks. They have over 180,000 titles to check out across any genre you can imagine. Stuck in traffic? Why not calm your nerves with some Hemingway? Doing some house chores? Why not see what George R. R. Martin's been up to? As a Household Hacker viewer, you can take Audible for a free 30-day spin when you head over to audible.com slash household. Personally, I've been catching up on Stephen King's novel, 112263. It's an awesome story about time travel and the implications of trying to change the past. You can check it out yourself or choose another book from their huge library. So again, just head over to audible.com slash household and get that free 30-day trial going. You'll wonder where it's been all your life. Excellent. Now how about a couple bonus hacks you should probably never do? Need to keep your door open but it keeps clicking into place? Just fill the door hole up with cheese and you'll never lock yourself out again. Gouda hack! Are you lonely on a Friday night? Just make a cheese friend to hang out with. They aren't much for conversation, but you can always eat them later if you get bored. Forever Provolo! And on that note, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so we know. Here's a couple others to check out and we'll see you next time.